have with us fashion designer Heman Sagar, who will be talking to us about the challenges of manufacturing in India and how can India become a better sourcing hub for international luxury brands. So Hemant, you've worked in Paris and you've worked in India. So what has been your experience so far of working with uh, artisans and karigars in India? Well, mine is an industrial setup, and that is exactly the problem. When you speak about sourcing in India, it's not about having one guy make a marble jali for you. It's mm -hmm. about making a whole series of garments or mm -hmm. a whole series of something, which is the industrial norm of the country. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to a very deep-rooted problem of general education, general knowledge, uh, people of being at, at, at the same common denominator. Mm -hmm. All of that is a big problem in India. I think it comes from very far beyond. And it's also that the country is extremely individualistic. Right. So um, the so-called Kariger, who used to mm -hmm. be a Kariger before and who knew how to make a single marvelous piece, mm -hmm. um, is not in that state of mind anymore when he goes mm -hmm. to a factory. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it all very complicated. So do they understand what they're doing? Or do you have to sort of train them and explain to them what is what is luxury and what they're working for is actually going to become a very expensive it's product. That's another thing. It's it's a very um, it's well forget the expensive bit. It's mm -hmm. only about making a a, a problem uh, a product that has to do with conformity mm -hmm. and that is well done, mm -hmm. right? Luxury mm -hmm. products and normal confectionery products are not very different very often. Mm -hmm. They're usually quite similar. In fact, it's just mm -hmm. the material that is different. But mm -hmm. we're talking of the handwork, Correct. not of the material used. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, a jali in the most beautiful marble that mm -hmm. is made lousily is not a beautiful jali. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you are. That's true. <laughs> so, uh, but but you know, like I was asking you earlier, do the uh, do you have to explain to them that you know this is the work that they're doing is going to be on this garment, this which is going to become this uh, shirt, which is going to sell here. Do they understand the entire process? No, mm -hmm. they don't really, and actually they uh, they're not really interested because mm -hmm. the the most important part of all of that is their own life, their own livelihood, mm -hmm. making their own money. So then mm -hmm. they don't really care, and they try mm -hmm. to please you. Mm -hmm. And the, the 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 procedures that you're explaining to them are often. Um, interpreted as a whim of the designer and not really right. of what is needed for the market. Mm -hmm. So he wants it that way. They won't mm -hmm. understand that it's a market norm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. But like you were telling uh, telling us uh, in, in, in the panel discussion that he, he might have been a plumber the, the day before and right. now he's working for you. So how do you deal with that? What, you know, how do you, do you have to train them from scratch? You have to train them from scratch and you actually have to try to look for the spark in the eye which is called enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. A person who will actually have a knack for it and will not leave you to become a plumber. Right. <laughs> because that can happen also. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. You know? So, so how, 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 can you, uh, how can we work to better things to make uh, it easier for designers? And it's very, very difficult because, you know, if you consider that a young child when he's born, his whole character is, is, is made up uh, by the time he's four. Mm -hmm. uh, opinionlessness is cultivated in this country. Mm -hmm. People, uh, children are told uh, not to say anything, that they will be seen and not heard until they're ten. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a really big problem because what they develop is that split character of putting their opinions into the back roads and not mm -hmm. into society where it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, so people end up having double personalities, having one facade of which is perfectly right and mm -hmm. proper mm -hmm. and the way society wishes them to be, and the other side of them, oh ho, don't ask me how that goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, But any sort of pointers that you sort of think should, uh, think should be, that can be done? Well, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it starts with arranged marriages mm -hmm. uh, w where people don't choose their partners. It goes mm -hmm. on into having babies together but having them brought up by a different generation mm -hmm. Because they're usually too young by themselves, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's 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 actually a whole organizational conflict of the whole society, mm -hmm. which is not geared to to be made for. I mean, an, a European person coming to India will be equally lost as an Indian person going to Europe, Fair enough. right? Yeah. So it's, we're talking of differences. We're not talking mm -hmm. of worse and better. Mm -hmm. We're talking mm -hmm. of differences. Mm -hmm. India was so far is made to make things by hand mm -hmm. and not with machines and not in an industrial conformity so far, mm -hmm. which just proves the real success of, of, of our great designers like Tarun Tahiliani, like Rohit right. Bal, like JJ Balaya, who all specialize in what they do and they do it marvelously well. Mm -hmm. You see, their product shines in the environment in which it is sold into. Mm -hmm. It makes, a, it brightens a marriage. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 gives, it gives a special evening, a special taste because people are all dressed up in these most beautiful garments which are all draped and embroidered and all of that. Right. The, 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 the product you buy from a Western designer does that mm -hmm. also, but in a very mm -hmm. different way. Mm -hmm. You buy it in an environment which gives it more value because mm -hmm. you're buying the culture of the designer mm -hmm. and not like in this case where the designer is adapting to the wearer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's catering to the lifestyle of the wearer 100%. Right. He's, he's, he's making an occasional garment mm -hmm. which will make the person shine in that occasion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not someone, something from his own culture that he's giving a person so that the person can look great. 
Right. It's a totally different aspect. Mm -hmm. So what do you uh, see the future of India being as a sourcing hub for international luxury brands or some, something that they can innovate and you know, make it, maybe make a local luxury brand? You know, it's a very, it's a very complicated thing because if you look at the, the competition, we spoke so much about China today. Mm -hmm. uh, if you consider China, that's where the big series, the big international series are made. And when, when mm -hmm. I'm just saying this, like the Gap wants mm -hmm. to make a million pieces, yeah. they wouldn't even dream of coming to India because mm -hmm. India is not the best and those kinds of things. India is better in making one piece, Correct. an exceptional piece, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The problem is that when a, a, a luxury a company mm -hmm. is making mm -hmm. something very intricate and will come mm -hmm. to India and wants to make 157 pieces of those, India might not have the know-how of making them conform. So homo homogeneity is a problem. You exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So that's one big challenge that yes. we need to. Which again uh, makes mm. the, the 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 which which confirms the exception that they, the pieces they make are made for single opportunities, right. occasions, and people. So, so th that's, that also reduces the amount of uh, work coming in and... Uh, it, it does, and then mm -hmm. the other thing is the nascent market in, in mm -hmm. the, the domestic market, which is just mm -hmm. so huge. I mean, I dropped the whole idea of trying to make it in the West mm -hmm. just to come here because this was such a, a treat. Mm -hmm. Where do you have 1.3 billion theoretical mm -hmm. consumers yes. waiting yeah. for you. It doesn't exist. But it, yeah, it doesn't. It, doesn't. <laughs> it just doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and we, have, we are lucky to have our own tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, lucky, unlucky maybe for me, bringing mm -hmm. in, trying to bring in a Western style. Mm -hmm. But my time will hopefully come also. Yeah, but uh, not like China, that was cut off from its tradition mm -hmm. millions of times. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what remains of it is maybe that simple Mao jacket, which mm -hmm. we call Nehru. It's very similar. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the, the same thing. But China had through all these the successive cultural revolutions is looking for a, for, for a new identity mm -hmm. and is taking up everything they can get from the West. Mm -hmm. they're, they're drinking in the culture of the Western designers mm -hmm. and trying to understand it. The Indians have no place for that because they have their own tradition which is so strong. Mm -hmm. They didn't go through any cultural revolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. <laughs> Great. I think we're done. Thank so you. Thank you so much, Heman. Lovely talking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel.